This is a video demonstration for processing a single payment in Transax Gateway's QuickBooks module. With Transax QB, you can easily process transactions without ever leaving your QuickBooks environment. Transax QB is compatible with all Windows desktop versions of QuickBooks 2007 to current. To access Transax QB, I open QuickBooks, navigate to the Customer menu, and select Transax. For this example, we'll click Process Payment. A dialog box opens on my screen, and I'll process my transactions from right within this form. Transax QB supports payments to either invoices or sales receipts, and the customer drop-down list communicates directly with my QuickBooks Customer Center, pulling up all active customers. When I select a customer from the drop-down list, the form pre-populates with all of the data from their customer record. On a per-transaction basis, any of the information can be adjusted as necessary, and I can make permanent changes to their actual customer record in QuickBooks if I click Update Existing QB Customer. Now let's process a live transaction. For this example, I'll choose to apply my payment to a specific invoice. I get an Open Invoice dropdown where I can select which open invoice I'm processing. In this case, I'll select invoice number 3046 and the amount auto-populates to $360 with the description payment for invoice number 3046. The last step to complete is entering payment information. I'll use George Washington's Visa card. I'll enter the card number, expiration date, and card security code. And I can either proceed with just processing a one-time transaction or leaving the box checked to process the transaction while also storing the payment data for future use. If I decide it's only a one-time transaction, I'll uncheck this box. In this case, we'll leave the box checked to process the $360 transaction and save George's Visa card for future use. I click Process and Close. And in real time, I see the transaction results, confirming my transaction was successful and approved. If it was a decline, the invoice would remain open until I retry to get an approval. I'll click OK. And the re payment record screen pops up in QuickBooks, confirming that everything looks great. I can make changes if necessary, or just click Save and Close. For confirmation, if I go back to the Customer Center and look up George Washington, I see the payment recorded here with a transaction ID number and today's date. So there we have it. I've successfully processed a single payment using Transact's QuickBooks module without ever having left my QuickBooks environment. Happy processing.